All right, here I am just over an hour later. Just finished roller chopping this little piece I was talking about. You can see my gator over there. It's, you can see it in the first video as well if you paid attention. We, uh, we got all these big thickets down. We set these thickets back. I obviously left enough cover for quail to hide in. And I tried to leave plenty of bunch grasses for them to choose from to nest in. There's plenty of open ground. This is going to be great brood, brooding cover. Let me know what you guys think. I don't see a whole lot of quail habitat management stuff on YouTube. I don't see much about it at all. But we've had quite a bit of success doing this. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Obviously over there I still got a lot more to go. There's maybe another two acres over there, acre and a half. We're going to get that this afternoon or tomorrow. It's going to look a lot like this when it's done. And by the time next season rolls around, this is going to be incredible, incredible hunting cover. That's what our goals are here, hunting habitat, quail hunting habitat, not just quail habitat. I'd rather have one covey I could comfortably hunt than two coveys we can't. That's our goals here, we want to shoot quail. But this spot will easily hold a covey and it's a very small spot. So that fence right over there, there's a cattle pasture on the other side. It gets, gets grazed pretty hard, but there's still some heavier palmetto, some good escape cover and stuff. And then to the south, there's a big wetland and it drops down a little uh, grassy slope into a wetland and there's a lot of a lot of trees in there. It's closed canopy forest. It's really wet. So great escape cover on, on that side as well as on that side. And right in between is just great cover for them to be in, spend most of their day in, feeding, loafing, foraging. One of my favorite spots on the ranch. There's uh, some trees in here. They're fruit trees. I'm not sure what kind. About 90% sure they're pears, but I don't know. See if I can find one real quick or so. Find a good example of one. Crazy diverse area. Multiple different kinds of runner oaks and scrub oaks. Saw palmettos, obviously. Wire grass. Broom sedge. Okay, here it is, right here. It's right here. It's got little thorns on it. Got a pretty hard freeze, so you can see some of the brown tips. Some of the leaves got killed. We had a hard freeze. First real hard freeze I've had here in four years. But you can, you can see there's small thorns on them. Small shrubby plant. A couple years ago they had small fruits on them. They look like little, maybe apples or pears. I'm not exactly sure. I need some, someone smarter than me to tell me what they are. 